Hello, in this CAD clip Revit training video, we'll show you how to create a little supply and return HVAC system. I've just got a little building in here and I've got a, a plenum level, which is just, you know, above the ceiling level. So that's this level over here. So I'm going to add in some diffusers and ductwork, a VAV unit and, and um, some diffusers. So we're going to do this from the ceiling plan because then we can kind of see at least the ceiling grid. So I'm going to go in here and grab the air terminal um, object or element and I'm going to go to level plenum which is fine minus 100 which means you know about four inches below now you'll notice it snaps to the intersection but not the center of these grids so I'm just going to say okay I'm not going to worry about that for now I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to add in these air terminals based on those center lines and then I'll adjust them after Watch how I do that. So place those in there, and I think I have four more in here. Okay, aligning them is almost a secondary effort. Okay, let's zoom in and do some alignments. Now, what I'm going to do here is I can align the ducts or the diffusers to the ceiling, or I can align the ceiling to the diffusers. So watch, I'm going to cheat a little bit and use my alignment tool. Say align to this edge, this. Okay, so that's going to fix that. Now I'm going to align to, click out, align to here. I had it set to be multiple. There, so now those four are all lined up. These guys are good. These guys are good. These guys need to be realigned. So let's just do another alignment and say, okay, align to here, this guy, and this guy. Click out, align to here, this guy, and this guy. And now this time I'm going to use the align tool and say align to here, and then actually move the ceiling grid. So a couple of different ways. Main thing is your diffusers are in there properly. Now I'm going to add some VAV units. So I'm going to go to my mechanical, and I'll open up, uh, grab mechanical equipment. I'm going to grab a VAV unit, this guy right here. Okay, and then escape. As I place it, I want to look at the level here. So I want it at level plenum plus about 550 millimeters, just short of two feet. So as I go to place that, I can see where it's going in. I can use my space bar to rotate it around. I don't really need to worry about the ceiling grid itself here. So I can say, okay, place that guy there, and then this guy's in this room somewhere. Escape, escape. Okay, now if I go look at my cross section, I can say, okay, you know, there's my VAV units and my, my uh, diffusers are right there. See, there's my plenum level. Perfect. Okay, now we can go back to here. I don't have to be in my ceiling plan anymore. And all I'm going to do is draw some supply duct work. So I'm going to click on here, right, grab that outbound duct and say draw duct. So I'm going to, I've set to be elbows uh, and rectangular duct work. And all I'm going to do is click on there and work my way around. It's going to color code that because of the supply system. Out to there. Those are the main lines. And I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. Click, right click, draw a duct from that point right there. This one's just going to go straight down. Escape, escape. Now I might as well add a um a not a damper i want a duct i want a duct fitting duct fitting um end cap so i'm going to put an end cap on there escape and i'm going to put an end cap over here click on here duct fitting end cap done okay now i can draw some more duct work so i'm just going to pick on here and say uh draw duct Right click and say create similar. So I'm going to line this up. You can see how it lines up quite nicely and on there. So we use our create similar. It's going to put that in there for us. Now I can come off a couple different ways here. I think I'll just go like this and over to here. Oh, getting a little warning on there. Uh, draw a dot. Start here. It's Auto route. It's trying to connect to this guy. So we can, let's do this again. Draw a duct. Maybe I'll come off of here. 
or let's just take this guy temporarily and shift nudge to get it out of the way. Two nudges. Okay? Duct. Get it right out here in the clear. Now I can go to there. Escape, escape. Now I can grab that piece of duct work. This is typical Revit HVAC is give yourself lots of room and then kind of squish it down after the fact. It was trying to actually connect to this piece of duct work. Escape, escape. Now I can pick on this guy and go shift, two big nudges, puts it right back to where it was. Uh, no, too far. Okay. And again, I can play with this by using some nudges or I could come off of here if I wanted. Okay. Um, so click on here again, create similar and snap to there. Notice it, it aligns it quite nicely. Okay. Do another one from here to here. Zoom down. Get in a little closer to get my alignment. See how that aligns? Helps if you're zoomed in a little bit closer. Notice that, that I'm connecting to the connectors when I'm touching there. Okay, you grab the center line. When you hit that, you see that? It says connector. That's why it puts in the little elbow. Tab, grab that connector. Okay. And we can go have a look at, well, oh, we've got a couple more in here. Duct. Click on here to the connector. Now watch what we're going to do with this guy. Okay. I'm going to click on this T and I'm going to upgrade it to be an X or a cross. Click on here, upgrade this to be a cross. Okay, now I click on here and I right click on that connector and say draw duct. Boom. Connects to there. Isn't that wonderful? From here to there. So I've upgraded those T's to crosses. All right, let's have a look at our 3D view. Hmm, pretty good. Uh, back to our plenum and now for our return, all we're going to do is click on here right click on this return connector and say draw duct. I'm going to draw that duct along here over to here and then maybe it's going up to the roof or something. I'm just going to type an offset of you know three meters about eight feet from my level and then hit apply and it's going to put an elbow and go straight up and now I can just come off of here Connect this guy to here. Oh, I'm up at 3,000, you see? I do. Escape. Okay, because I went up to 3,000 to continue that. So I have to right click on here and say, draw a duck. Now I'm starting from the right elevation. Rookie mistake there. Comes out, hits that piece of duck work. And that's it to get started anyway. 3D view. Oh, I don't need to save. There's our ductwork SD on the keyboard for shaded mode. So it's a quick little lesson on adding in some supply and return uh, lines with our VAB units and our diffusers and ductwork.